John Fedger here with mobilehomeinvesting.net. In this quick video, I'm gonna to try to pack as much content into a short video uh, as possible. And this is a recap video from a video I've made about eight years ago, uh, talking about the same website. I'm gonna add some things, um, and we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of this website, how you can use it best, and how to find most or all of the mobile home parks around you. Now, on this website, we're only gonna find about 70 to 80% of the mobile home parks in existence. Um, that's because this website's user generated. The people that own the parks have to put in the information. So not all owners upload their information or keep it up to date and current. That's why some of the information on this website is not current. Some of the parks are like not even existing. Uh, they and not even in existence anymore. The phone numbers might be right or wrong. So we're going to talk about all that. Uh, let's jump into it and go to mhvillage.com, which is the site on your screen. And you're probably watching this video right now because either you're new to an area or you're new to mobile home investing. So you want to sort of validate, you know, how many parks are around me uh, locally, further out? Uh, what about the homes for sale? What about maybe dealers? Can I find that information here on this website? Yes, you can. We'll talk about it in just a minute. Uh, and what is good and bad about it? We don't want to use all the information. But let's talk about parks right now because that's what we're talking about mainly in this video. How many parks are around you? Uh, so we want to go to mhvillage.com, spelt just the way that it's spelt here, uh, mh village.com and we want to hit parks and then we want to go to advanced search not just the regular search but advanced search and we want to put in let's do a zip code of 90210 let's put in that zip code and let's just do an exact match Let, let's leave let's leave all these other things right here alone and let's just hit search and inside 90210 zip code there are 24 manufactured home communities uh, because that's where on the community tabs and that's good so we can drive around um, this city and we or this zip code, excuse me, uh, and find 24 parks. But let's let's be willing to drive a little further. Let's say that within a 50 mile radius of 90210, we will go to. Uh, let's say within 50 mile driving radius. And we're okay with all ages parks. We're okay with uh, age restricted parks. We don't mind about pets or about the pools. We don't wanna click any of that. We don't wanna do the search by state just yet. Um, but 90210 within 50 miles, cause we're willing to drive 50 miles and then further out between, you know, afterwards. But within 50 miles, you know, you're gonna find a, a decent number of communities most likely in your area. Now, this uh, site is showing that there's 968 manufactured homes within a 50 mile radius of 90210 anything over 50 60 70 parks is going to be a good inventory within 50 miles uh, over that is is just icing on the cake now keep in mind that I'd like you eventually to go farther than 50 miles um, but 50 miles should keep you pretty busy if you've watched other uh, videos on this channel I interview people uh, that have 10, 20, 30 mobile homes in their portfolio, and typically we learn that they're only involved with only two or four or six communities. So although there's 968 manufactured home parks uh, within a 50 mile radius of 90210, and if you're in that area, I do encourage you to go to most of those communities. There's no way for me to say that you're not gonna go to those communities, because eventually you are. Not 20 or 30 times, but at least once to do a handful or more things that are very important. So although you're gonna go to hundreds of communities, um, you're only going to have relationships ultimately over the next year or two or three with a dozen or maybe two dozen managers, you know, on a first name basis. And um, so with all that said, um, those are the communities around you. That's about 70 to 80 percent of the communities. And over here, it says, uh, you know, recently updated homes for sale, 14 photos available. Um, that is not always recently updated. Uh, and even these addresses may not be accurate. So I personally, I don't use this website for any homes for sale because people that advertise their homes for sale on this website, they have to pay money and they're almost always asking a retail price. If you want to sell one of your mobile homes for cash, I recommend using this site because it will bring in some some amount of cash buyers that may not be looking in other places, although you're going to have to pay to list it on this website. That's part of the reason the website makes money or why their website makes makes money. So, you know, if you're looking to sell a home for cash, this website can be helpful. If you're looking to buy mobile homes as an investor, almost everything on this site is a retail price. Um, dealers as well. So actually, let's just click homes just because we were just talking about it. There's 
13 manufactured homes and okay there's way more than 13 mobile homes for sale um within a 50 mile radius of 90210 so these just aren't updated regularly the parks have better things to do besides go in and update you know all their listings across all different searches or all different uh um different platforms that people are you know searching for mobile homes in or where you would list a mobile home so this just it typically isn't up to date um so i wanted to mention that just you know if you see this and two hundred and fifty thousand for a mobile home in a park um 145 yeah just that's just well that's california prices in general but um <laughs> but the deals in even in california we're not looking here we're not uh yeah we're finding homes definitely off MH Village. Even just that kind of brings me to, you know, even on Facebook or Craigslist or online, you're going to find homes that are more retail prices. As an investor, we're typically purchasing properties that are off market. You know, logically speaking, even around my area with the 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 amount of park managers that I know and that I network with on a regular basis, there's there's deals happening that I don't know about. There's people that don't know who I am that are buying and selling mobile homes that are selling their mobile home and they've never heard of me. They don't know who I am. They're not talking to the manager. So I just bring that up because in your area, logically speaking, there are many homes being bought and sold that don't make it to the market. They don't make it to this site for sure. They don't make it to Craigslist or to Facebook or to offer up or to you know other websites so if you're just looking online at homes for sale that can skew your you know uh your vision to thinking oh everything for sale is over 20 grand you know and online a lot of it a lot of it could could be um so i hope that that makes sense i hope that uh all that makes sense for you dealers let's talk about that real quick and then we'll talk about where to collect the rest of these leads or of the, the parks around you um, because we only talked about 70 to 80 percent here on mh village um, but dealers we don't typically purchase from dealers. Now, uh, there's 42 mobile home dealers around 90210, and they can be important to eventually network with. Uh, you're going to rub shoulders with dealers. You're going to know who they are. They can know who you are. But we're not typically buying a mobile home from a dealer. A mobile home dealer is a middleman. They want to make money off of the mobile home. They want to buy low. They want to sell high. And we can go there to do a few things in my opinion we can go there to walk through homes to see what they have ask questions and look in a mobile home if we've never been in one or haven't been in one for a while uh, the new mobile homes the used mobile homes what inventory do they have uh, for what prices and then also they sometimes if we're going to wholesale a mobile home let's say it's something 10 20 years old if you can find that mobile home and even if it has to be moved we can contact a dealer to say mr dealer would you be interested in purchasing used mobile homes if I get them for a really good deal? If I find a good deal, do you want me to tell you about that good deal? And dealers, if they're buying mobile homes, they'll say, yeah, if it's a good deal, we'll buy it, we'll move it, we'll make some money on it. Um, so we can do that. We can also walk through mobile homes like I mentioned at the dealership office. And you can also, if you have a piece of land, you can help they can help you sell that home or piece of land sort of on consignment. They would sell a mobile home to a, a person that comes in and buys one off their showroom. And then they could put that mobile home onto your piece of land. You could owner finance the piece of land. So that's more of an advanced strategy if you're not holding a random vacant piece of land that could hold a mobile home or has held a mobile home but it's vacant you know that's one avenue to help get somebody interested and buy that piece of land and without you having to add a mobile home or improve it or um anyway i'll get off that tangent because probably one person listening that applies to so i hope that makes sense uh, in this video um uh, helps you notice you know where to find local mobile home parks around you um, let's talk about where to find those other communities so uh, MH Village is a good start there's also a site called mhbay.com and then we all know about Google you want to search Google and the yellow pages dot dot com uh, search in those websites and on Google for the rest of the mobile homes around you now even in all online you might not find all of them you can go to the local Chamber of Commerce and ask them about 
about local mobile home parks around you. Um, they may or may not have all the information and you'd have to go to like every city's chamber of commerce. You can also go to your state to say, okay, what pieces of land are zoned for mobile home parks? That doesn't mean that there's actually gonna be a mobile home park there. Um, so to find the rest of the parks, like I said, we wanna go to MH Village, MH Bay, the Yellow Pages google.com Google and also as we drive around and talk to all of these communities i want you to ask them you know where locally uh, are there other mobile home parks you know which mobile home parks may be helpful as well can you point me in any direction and just by driving around to parks just by talking to managers and letting them know what you're looking for they will point you in different directions of other parks you never even knew existed so i hope that that all helps and makes sense um, in this video makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, um, anything at all, you can reach out to me at support at mobilehomeinvesting.net or check out mobilehomeinvesting.net for some more mobile home uh, investing uh, lessons and videos. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.